What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'll be listing off seven things that I wish I knew before starting my locks. And this is not to say that I regret my journey, that I regret learning things that I've learned and doing the things that I've done. It's just that I wish I did know it in order to prevent certain things from happening. I can watch so many different YouTube videos and still not know what I'm doing with my locks which is basically what I was doing. So the first thing is I should have done even more research and took what I was told more seriously. Basically what we just said. So I would watch videos and I would watch people say to watch out for buildup and I would just completely disregard it because I've never dealt with a buildup issue. So I figured it wouldn't happen to me in my lock stage of life. So yeah, I really disregarded that. I don't know, I don't know what made me think I was gonna be immune to it, but yeah. Number two, should have took note on how to properly clean my locks. <sighs> you guys know this. So, you guys know that I've been dealing with a buildup issue for a minute. I've learned how to do the apple cider vinegar rinse properly as well as wash my locks properly so that buildup issue has been a little bit eliminated. I just need to keep working on um, cleansing my locks. So I'm probably gonna do the apple cider vinegar rinse one more time to get the extra left up buildup that I didn't get completely from the last apple cider vinegar rinse that I did. And I'll have that link in my bio, you guys go check it out. But yeah, it really worked. I just need to be consistent with my washing, how often I do it and yeah. All right, number three is should have known not to try everything. Yeah, it's kind of common sense to not try everything that you see, but for me, it's like, I think my hair, I always think my hair is immune to certain stuff. Like, I think my hair is immune to heat damage, which it low key was, but I never even, when I was loose natural, I never even used that much heat on my hair anyways. And then I had like three sets of perms, I believe, and my hair still flourished. So, just because of that one factor, I'm thinking I'm immune to stuff and that's not a good mindset to have. You're never immune to everything. So just do not try everything, because clearly, trying everything when I say trying everything I really mean like I'm trying a lot of styles on my hair and that's gonna coincide with one of the other things I wish I had known coming in at number four is wearing my scarf at night is a necessity not only did my buildup come from not washing my hair properly but also getting lint so I would have a lot of lint in my locks that I would have to pick out or just disregard because I figured it'll just come out Silly mindset, um, dutty. Definitely try not to have that mindset because I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Just make sure you wear your scarf at night. That's what I'm struggling to do to this day because it itches, like it just itches, like I hate it. But you have to stick it in. You have to wear your scarf at night. This is for you and me. This is for me and you. Coming in at number five is washing my hair regularly needs to be mandatory. Like I used to think like that when I first started my journey that I just need to wait like a month in between washes because that's what I did low key as a loose natural but I did wash it a little bit more often than this than what I do with my locks but um I should have known that I need to wash my hair a lot more often often than I have done and that I am doing because it's it's a hassle especially now that I know what work is needed to put into washing my locks it's just a tedious process that I usually don't like to do but I'm getting better, I'm really getting better. But um, washing my locks regularly can definitely prevent a lot of buildup. I usually do my edges a lot and I get braids and that's just a lot of you know stuff going on with my hair that I just need to keep it washed consistently. So that's something I wish I would have known because I probably would have helped prevent that buildup issue that I had. Coming in at number six is retwisting is the best way to go. Retwisting is the best way to go. For me at least. It's the best for my hair and I feel like when I was interlocking, my head was always tight. It's like a retwist with the clips that you can't take out. You know what I'm saying? Interlocking just wasn't for me. It's, it's not for everybody. So retwisting was the best way to go for me. And coming in at number seven is protective style should be worn in moderation. Number one, because like I just do a lot of braids randomly without thinking about my hair. When I am doing them, I feel like 
it's hurting them but it's probably not but it just it just doesn't feel right all the time to do because it most definitely can lead to thinner locks and it will lead to breakage because it's a lot of strain on your scalp and when I say protective styles I mean rope twists braids and anything else that you do to like sustain your hair it should be done in moderation probably common sense as well but you know yeah that's pretty much it this was sort of a short video I didn't want to make it too long I'm gonna end the video here but I want to let you guys know that I will be two years locked in May on the 20th and I'm super duper excited about that I think three weeks away maybe but I'm very 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 excited for that and I can't wait to post a video for you guys so you can really see my locks then show you them in this because I'm waiting to show you guys in my two year mark so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like comment down below any other video suggestions that you may have make sure to follow me on Instagram my Instagram is Mike's Wendy is right here go ahead and follow me yeah thank you guys so much for watching and peace